welcome. This is Sahara playing Gen Forge 2. It just released today, the 30th, the 27th of March. Yay! First time I played a game that just came out. And we were given instructions to follow Shantae up to the north because there's some rogues up there. I want to go investigate down here to the south. We already went into this one ruin. Um, and we have some living pools here for healing um, and then for essence for creation. We also have, there's a Fyro here, wandering around, but I suppose we should listen to our instructor, right? Oh, there's a cemetery over here. Hmm. You have reached the end of the tree. Uh, yeah, well, okay. You have reached the end of the area. The first of almost 90 in Gen Forge 2, Investation. When you are ready to move on, step on the area shaded blue. Oh, that's right. You will then be on the world, world map to travel to a new region. Select it and then select the travel button. To make things easier, the next section will be automatically selected for you. In the next section, you will learn about spells and combat. Good luck. Your adventures are just ending or are just beginning. Okay. Um, no. I get to, I, I need to investigate this area first. So let's do that. I only have one living tool. Uh, I'm now level two. How do I level up? Hmm. Do I have a character? Um, item, but how do you level up? I don't remember. Okay, so there's flowers here. We don't need the dead flowers. Oh, here we go. Uh, the grape stone says... Banzerin. Mondane guard slain pacifying a rogue. He honored the law. The date of death is about 30 years ago. Okay, so they've been... Oh, we got a rat. Where'd you come from, rat? We got a mangy rat. Okay, so I've got Firebolt. I can't use that because I haven't learned how to do it yet. Okay. Wow. Um, that was fast. We have another here. Um, the gravestone says Tala of Ezart, loyal shaper, made mistake, eaten. The date of death is about 30, 20 years ago. So we're just investigating here before we go into the next area. Okay, here's that. I wonder if I can train it. If I can bring it, it's because it's a loss. It's going grr. It's going grr at me. Um, tools. These are simple. No, they're not for lock picking. And a javelin. Okay. Javelins only. You can use a javelin for throwing. Can I use it? There's only six of them, though. I've used them before. Like most of the shops along the road to Dry Peak, this smithy has been abandoned for several years. Some industrious souls have been tearing blocks out of the wall and carrying them off, probably for building materials. Surprisingly, someone has left some javelins on the on the counter. They look new. Maybe they were forgotten by a hunter. Javelins are equipped in your missile weapon slot. You will learn how to switch between melee and missile weapons in the next section. Okay. Yeah, because they're nice to have. Um, tools. Okay, we got something here. <clears throat> Bricks. Bars of iron. Um, <sighs> See, and I just know people are going to want iron. Got tools and a belt. Okay. 
Now I am up to 26, and so that gives me armor also. I think, didn't, um, didn't these have a value on them? They did not. Okay, we have another, another rat, mangy rat. You come, oh, a couple of them here. Okay. Oh, we got a couple of them. Let them come to me. I parried. I heard that parry. Oh, and I missed! <laughs> Any meat? Nope. Sometimes you get meat to pick up. Oop. Sorry about that. Oh! No! Um... I was trying to do tab. We got another who's down here. Oh no. It is oh, it's a robe, money. Oh, it's a body. Another javelin. Who's um this is gives me better. Currently using, no, it doesn't. <clears throat> but I might need it for somebody else. No, that was a body. Okay. So, what did I pick up that I could use? Shoes. So I don't have shoes. Alright. This is not better. This is two and four, and I have seven and four. Alright. So I don't know if I'm going to have party members or if I'm just going to have creatures. I think I'm just going to have creatures. Is this this whole area then? It looks like it is. But we can go down here. Um, to the ruins. So I can heal up maybe. I took a little bit of damage. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. And then also heals up my creature creation. I think I can name them too. Train. Here we go. We go to the train. So, do I have any points? Um, how do I know if I have points? I have skill points 10, level 2, experience, spells, creation, weapon shaping. Okay, this is all new to me. Alright, so, so skills for training. I have 10 points. Uh, these are your character skills. Use the tab at the top to see your abilities. How do I add? Uh, Firebolt. I don't think I can add anything here. Okay, so... Strength, intellect. So strength um, increases melee weapon damage by percent per point. Increases the weight of armor and weapons you can equip. Oh well, we definitely need that. Oh, it's going to cost four. I have ten. Combat skills, melee weapons. Increases all melee weapon damage by eight percent. Um, gives a three percent point chance of the attack. 
Consuming lesser action points enables you to equip more powerful melee weapons. I think we also need that. I need one of those. Quick action. Each point gives a 4% chance of your weapon attack using fewer action points. Okay. We'll go ahead and use that. Um... Well, that leaves me four skill points left. I think we need strength. Okay. My shaping skill is weak. Am I getting ahead of myself? Let's go ahead and get rid of that and let's do... So I have three left. Magic skills, fire shaping. Can't train, you don't have enough skill points to increase. Oh, it costs five. Hmm. Well, I also need leadership. Uh, increases the number of op options in conversation, helps you to convince characters to aid you, also increases your control over your creations, and increases their resistance to mental effects. Hmm. We'll just go ahead and put one in there. We'll keep two. Because we need to do the fire shaping. Okay. At least I figured it out. Alright, so we need to go up here. We got this area all figured out. Cool. And... Oh, I wanted to go... Do we want to do something with this, um... This one that's wandering around lost down here? Where are you at? There you are. When you get close to the fire, it sniffs at you, then it gets nervous. It, star it starts to walk away quickly. Odd. Well, I was hoping I could... And then you just left the area, didn't you? Okay, I was hoping I could get you under control. Alright, are you ready to leave? Yes, I am. Alright, so it's gonna... This is where we were at. The Dry Peak Arena. Or... For all, okay, all locations you have learned about are displayed on the map. Drag the map to see all of it. Select the region. Okay, so this is where... All right. So this is where we were at. Travel. I think this is where we were at. Yep, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yes. So we are going to the Dry Peak Gates. All right, new area. Agent Shanti's tracks are still visible in the sand, but your mentor is nowhere to be seen. Perhaps she is letting you travel alone for one of her little lessons. You are getting closer to Dry Peak. The crumbling walls of abandoned buildings line what is left of the road. As you get closer to the Shaper settlement, you have to carefully tread between thick lengths of cacti, these plants are still shaped, but a more successful design. Defeating foes and finishing quests gives you experience. When you get enough experience, you gain a level. You have gained a new level, and you can now train your character. This will help you to survive the battles ahead. Press the train button to begin training. I already did that. I already did that. Okay, because I'm ahead of the game. And we got bones, and trash, and a mug. Make a creation. To survive, you will probably need to make... And I already did that, too. <laughs> so I'm ahead of the game. Uh, you will need to make creations to serve you. You can do this by pushing the Make Creation button above. First, select the sort of creation you want to make. At the beginning, you can only make a fire... fire a large fire-breathing lizard. You learn to make more 
varieties later. Then on the then on the edit screen, you can spend essence to increase the creature's level or give it new abilities. Finally, press the OK button to make new creation. Essence spent making a creation can't be regained until the creature dies or you absorb it. Yeah, I could have, um... So that says North Dry Peak. Okay. Here we go. Can I... Oh, so if I right-click on it, then I can train it, I think. Um... So I can add a passive ability, inhale, initiate haste. This character always acts faster as if hasted. Each attack has a chance of using fewer action points. Hasting this creature makes it faster still. For fast recovery, special abilities have no cooldown time. Uh, how much of my essence did that take? Do I want that? Passive? So it has an active ability of fire breath. Fire is a cloud of fire. Um, cone of fire. Belch is a cloud of cone fire damaging all foes in a cone shaped area. Strength upgrade gives a creature creation one more level and two more points of strength. Now its control level is adequate. Okay. Um, do I want to go to passive? Does it change anything? Fire essence. You're level two. Fire essence fifty. The amount of essence you can your character has now, essence spent on creations, is tied up until the creature dies. To her town to regain lost essence. 40 of 20. Wow, that even takes more. Um, let's do that one. Let's do the cone of fire. Okay. My essence did go down. I figured it would. All right. Got a junk pile over here. Anything to pick up? Nope. the door up there. The wind carries to you the sounds of growling and hissing, followed by a whooping laugh and an explosion. Sounds like Shante has found some rogues to fight. She probably She's probably enjoying it. There is a building to your right, almost overgrown by the hardy, twisted desert flora. Maybe there is something useful inside. Inside the building you will find healing and essence pools. There are also books which will teach you about making creations and casting spells. These are skills you will need to survive. Okay, so who is that? What does that say? I Let me get my magnifying glass. It says, Wandering... Th oh, that is a... Um... Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's go in here. This is a small shaping chamber. It is a building like those that shapers make new creations. They use healing and essence pools to recharge themselves. If you stand next to the pools, you will be healed. Shante has left some things here for you. There is a healing pod and a shield on the table. Also, there are two books around the corner left here for the instruction of young shapers. She left a shield for me and I already have a shield. Did they not think that I was going to investigate things? Okay, I'll take the healing pond. And I'll take this shield because I can... I think it's the same I already have. Five and four. Yep, it is. Okay. So, Secrets of Essence. Essence is represented by the green bar to the right of your main character's graphic in the roster. That's what I thought. You use Essence to make creations and cast the more powerful spells like healing. 
When you spend essence to cast spells, you get it back by returning to town or by approaching an essence pool like the one nearby. However, making creations reduces the maximum amount of essence you can have. If you have a total of 30 essence, for example, and you make one Fyra, which costs 10 essence, then your new maximum is 20. You can't get the other 10 back until the Fyra dies or you absorb it. It is up to you whether to make a lot of weak creatures, a few strong creations, save your essence for spells, or a mix of the three. Gen Forge 2 makes all these options viable. Yeah, you don't have to have a creation if you don't want it. Making creations. To survive in the Dry Peak Mountains, you will probably need to make creations to fight for you, especially if you are playing a shaper. You already know how to create a Fyra, a small fire-breathing lizard, to make a fire. Okay, um, we already know all this, but there's a door here. It's locked. The door is locked, and you don't have enough living tools to get it open. I need 30? 30? Oh my goodness. Okay, that amount goes down as I increase my dexterity, I think. How to fight? I think we've already known. There is a Thalid thol standing on the road ahead, a brutish creation used to defend roads and towns. Something about its movements bothers you. It seems rogue. Rogue creations are out of shape or control and can attack without warning. You may be about to enter a battle. During combat, you and your foes will take turns moving and attacking. You can leave combats when your foes are distant or dead. To attack a foe, select the space it is standing in. To use one of your abilities against an enemy, press the Use Ability button. Stand steady. Um, Shante already taught you how to cast the Firebolt in Minor Hill spells, did she now? Aha, now we have Fire Vault. No, that's the Cone of Fire. That's for my... Okay, let's get to me. I don't have anything here. Fire Vault is two. Usability. Aha. So, okay. Select ability or items to use. Abilities consume energy. So, Fire Vault... This is where I think I can put it down here on the... All right, let me see if this is selected. Yep, this is what I thought. Okay, so we put them on our quick bar down here. Um, so Firebolt here. Days. Or do I want to put days there? No, I want to... No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to... Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. Return to game. Sorry. Learning. I wanted to put the days somewhere else. Okay, days here. And then, because I don't know what else I'm going to have. And my heal here. That's minor heal. And then I can put, like, healing pods. This is a calming... What is that? Curing? Oh, that's for curing. Okay, and then we have band-aids. And that, and then... There are places where we're going to need the lanterns. Okay. Uh, in combat, an enemy is visible. Combat will end at the end of... Okay, so, um... So can I switch to my javelin? Well, I can use the fire bolt, can I? Ooh, okay. Now I'm going to attack you. Cool. All right. Um, did I use any of my abilities? This is my health. My essence went down. Um, a little bit? 
Let me see. My essence is over here. It did go okay. So it took a little bit. We have a slavering Ira. Oh, in a nest. Cool. Uh oh, we got something coming at us. We got money, uh, brick, and trash. You coming to attack me? You are. Okay. Well, I'm doing the wrong damn thing. Okay, so we got a whole nest of them up here. And another belt. Is that better than what I have? No, nope, it's what I already have. That's over here. Uh, just pots, nothing spectacular. We got another one. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of them here. And we had another nesty. So they've been out moving around for a while. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack. Boom. All right. Don't get fire at it. Oh, we got a healing. You come to me? All right. I missed? Really? Oh, don't you dare. Okay, we have a cloak. I don't think I have a cloak. Uh, coal and dried herbs. Hmm. I don't think I have a cloak. I do not have one. There we go. Gives me more. More. Mm, bones. Is that Shante up there? My mentor? I think I've done everything here I need to. Okay, this small shop has been effectively demolished by the rogues. This is unusually vicious destruction, even for a mad creation. The only thing left intact are a few pots. Maybe there's something of value inside them. To search a pot, box, next, nest, or other container, select it. Yes. Most, we've already figured this stuff out, you know, because by the time you get to this area, you've already done it. Oh, we got another living tool. And, okay. Oh. Do we have any buttons on the walls? That's what I'm looking for. And we have a speed. Oh, speed. Is that my speed one? So we want to add speed. Uh -oh. Did she just daze them? Oh, she cursed them. Okay, well, I've got days. So are they days now? It doesn't say. Cursed, they're cursed. But I have days, right? Oh, I can't get to them. They're too far away. Okay. Uh, 
Um, can you see him? So, what'd you do that for? Hmm? Well, if I daze them. They're dazed. Okay. That one wasn't because it's out. Oh, I thought you were dazed. You're done. Um. Can I get you? I can. Line of sight. Having dispatched the cluster of rogues, Agent Shantae turns to you. She hasn't even broken a sweat. She inspects your condition and nods. I see you dealt with the rogues I left for you. Did you leave those for me? Hmm. Good. It is important to know how to defend yourself. However, Princess, there is something you should remember. Combat is not the only way to achieve your goals. Stealth and diplomacy work as well. If you wish to avoid battle, I suspect that in particularly every case, there is a way to. Well, yeah, I could have walked around some of them, right? How can I avoid battle? A truly skilled shaper can complete missions without even attacking a folk directly. There are usually three routes. Diplomacy, tinkering, and stealth. Diplomacy? Well, not when you're dealing with rogues. Words can convince intelligent foes to help you instead of hindering you. A strong will can bring some weaker creations back under your control. Increasing your leadership skill gives options in conversations that can make your missions much easier. Yeah, that's why I put it. I think I put a point in the leadership for that reason. Tinkering? There is likely to be a lot of shaper machinery up in these mountains. Some of it may be dangerous. Skill with living tools can disarm traps or even turn them against your foes. Increasing your mechanic skill enables you to master shaper machinery with a variety of beneficial effects. And stealth. A foe that never sees you won't attack you. If an enemy is less alert and you keep your distance, you might avoid it entirely. If you increase your stealth skill, enemies have to get closer to you to detect you. What if I prefer to obliterate my enemies? Yeah. Shante laughs. Honestly, that is my preferred route. I kind of figure that. Rogues must be purged. Bows of the shapers must be disciplined. Still, I admire the elegance of the pacifist approach. I truly hope we can evaluate the situation in these mountains with minimal violence. What if the way I want to go is completely blocked by enemies? Then look for a different route. If you find that the obstacle is in one area or insurmountable, go elsewhere. In my experience, there is almost never only one route to a goal. Is there? Hmm. So weren't you scared being outnumbered like that? Scared of our creations? We are shapers. We are the absolute masters of the life we create. Heaven help us all if it should ever be otherwise. So why are there rogues here? She looks at a dead foyer, Fyra, and frowns. I do not know. It is a shameful state of affairs. At the minimum, we need to find out what is happening here. The state of the colony is a disgrace. We shall continue. Follow. Okay. Well, but um, I have things I have to look at here first. Because there's a nest, you know, like right up here. Not enough what? Oh, I'm in combat. I'm sorry. Uh, well, there was none there. And... Can we go down here first? And so I can heal up maybe a little bit and get some of my essence back. I mean, while it's here, use it, right? 
It used to be you could always hear him walking. All right, so I got my health back. Got some of my essence back. I assume we're going to be going on to the next... Oh, Claire, Cleo is yelling at me. What time is it? It's going on three. She's like, I'm hungry. The road ahead is blocked by a large stone gate. Agent Shante stares angrily at it, muttering to herself, at least your curation makes you feel less exposed and alone. You scratch it reassuringly behind the ears. Okay, so we have a gate. You have reached Dry Peak's customs gate. All Shaper settlements have a portal where visitors are questioned and searched. Normally, there would be guards here waiting to search you for a counterband and forbidden bits of shaping. However, there is nobody here. The main gate is closed. The door to the guardhouse off to the side is closed and locked. It doesn't look, at the moment, like there is any way in. For the first time, you start to wonder if there are any people in Dry Peak at all. To proceed, you will need to find a way to get this gate open. No, not a puzzle! The sign says, Dry Peak Customs Office. All goods must be inspected. All shaped life and essence byproducts must be recorded. Okay. Agent Shante stands next to the locked door of the Customs Gate. She is furious. She twists her tooth ne necklace absently in her fingers as she thinks about what to do. Hmm, so the gate is locked? Yes, and unguarded. Nobody here to let us in. Someone is going to answer for this. I'll make sure of that. Isn't it supposed to be guarded? Yes, someone should be watching this road, even if they didn't know we were coming. Word was sent. We should be greeted. This is an insult. Well... Hmm, if there were actually guards here when they've got rid of the rogues before now? That's my question. So what should we do? What I want to do is tear this gate down with my bare hands. This is an insult. To leave a gate abandoned like this in a shaper settlement, unacceptable. Still, it is a good chance for you to practice your skills in a field setting. So, uh, what are we going to do? Shante raises an eyebrow. What am I going to do? Well, I am going to start by standing here, and then I'm going to tell you to look around. Then I'm going to have lunch. Be a good apprentice and see if you can find a way around this gate. Run along. <laughs> um, why do I have to do that? Aren't you supposed to be doing the investigating? Shanti is amused by your insolence, but not much. Remember, student, wisdom and power are only given to those with common sense, such as the sense to obey one's superiors. But if you want to end up spending your life in some backwater maintaining servals and picking rocks out of your boots, that is your choice. Hmm. So, um, what is that necklace? Shante notices that she is toying with it. She drops her hand. Just an innocent piece of jewelry. No special powers. None at all. This conversation option was available to you because you have some leadership skill. The more you have, the better conversation points are available. Options are available. Okay, sure. Um, is there any way I can get out of this conversation? No! The gate is locked. We already know that. Uh, can we get in this? Okay. Okay, that's all for now. I don't like the way they did that. Hmm. So this is the lock. Well, this isn't locked. So which one is one that's locked? Oh, this. This is the gate. Okay. You enter the customs office. Not surprisingly, nobody is here. However, it doesn't look like it has been abandoned for long. There are cloaks hanging on the wall, and the table isn't dusty. There is a lever in the middle of the room. Perhaps it is the control for the gate. Select a lever or pull it. Opening the doors ahead will require you to find a key. Hmm... Okay, dice and an hourglass. So we have a lever here. 
Notes on combat. Okay, each round your character gets a base of eight action points. Armor and weapons are heavy. We already know all this. Okay. The door is locked. Your your door. You don't have the key, and you don't have enough living tools to get it open. You need thirty. Another one of those. You need thirty. Another one. You know. You need thirty. You try to pull the lever only to find that the me mechanism is completely jammed. You can't figure out how to fix it. Of course not. Of course not. All right. So I need to go wandering here. Um, so I need to find some living tools. Okay. What the hell are you? You're a small something. It looks like a wolf. You hear squealing and chittering from the thicket to the north. There are little dark ranged fanged creatures trying to conceal themselves back there. Not not Bora, smaller and weaker. They are creations. Alas, you recognize the design. They they're huge, twisted rat things. Creations, but not a sort anyone is allowed to make. They are starvelings, a modified variant of the huge rats to the south, a notorious pest in forbidden creation type. Say, shy but hungry and vicious when you get close. You wonder what Shante would say about this. Yeah. So we got a whole bunch of them here, huh? Um. I'm going to try to attack you one-on-one. -on -one. All right. This is the whole thing of trying to get around. There's always more than one way, but I want to I want to attack them. Okay, I'm going to daze you. Can we daze you? Dazed. Nice. Ooh, that one's not dazed. So one is dazed. You have a cone effect, don't you? Nice. Okay. That was pretty cool. All right, where are we all going? Oh. You find that someone has barred the door into the southern building from this side. You won't bar it. There is another building to the north. The sturdy, non-bound doors are closed. Wow. So now I don't have to go all the way over. Okay. And it's locked. Uh, you need three. I only have two. I only have two. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. You know that's what I need to do. Okay, we got tracks. Are we going to find a living tool over here somewhere? That we do. There are some rusty tracks on the ground here. At one end, they have been torn up. At the other end, they've been overgrown. A dry peak is definitely a mining colony. There are several large nests back here made from trash and twisted sticks. The scavengers here might have found something interesting to search a nest. Yeah, we already know that. Oh, okay, so you're trying to tell me that there's something in these nests now. Hmm? You have a living tool. The nest primarily consists of junk. However, you do find something interesting in this one. There is a small iron key on a leather thong. Some guards must have dropped it, and a scarveling, 
Scabbling found it. Take the key and pocket it. When you try to open the door, this key unlocks. You will open the door automatically. Okay. How about this one? Can we get a living tool? No, but we got a limb. We don't need a limb. Tools. Oh, a bronze sword. Is that better than what I have? I have a dagger. Um, this is nine. Hit bonus nine percent. Okay, so bronze sword. This is the dagger. All right, so now I can do more damage. Yay! Hold on. Hmm, need three. So this, it goes into the same room. Okay, so we need to go up here. I have to remember that's that. This is why you need to make notes on this game. Um, because you won't remember all this. I need... Ah, this is the door it opened. Okay. Let's try this one. I need six? Hmm. Alright, that one opened. Anything on the ground? No, just nothing, nothing. Got this one open. Oh, this is a weapon storeroom. Most of the racks and shelves are empty. A lot of guards have been taking weapons lately. One useful thing was left behind, though. There is a baton of the, on the table at the north end of the room. A baton is a missile weapon. It is a mix of living and non-living matter, a creature created by shapers, which lives in a thin metal frame. It is bred to spit thorns when its tail is squeezed. <laughs> that just sounds horrible, doesn't it? The sharp in um the sharp and bemond thorns can do a lot of damage. There are also some thorns on the table. This weapon will be very useful. Equipped a baton like any other weapon. A fully loaded baton contains six thorns. When the weapon is empty, you will reload it automatically. So I can go away from um But how do you switch? That's what I want to know. I don't remember how to switch. Iron baton. We got thorns. And broken baton. So how do we switch? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So if I use this, I can't use my... But my firebolt is here. All right. That's all right. Got it. It's just been a while since I played one of these. This game. This queen's wish doesn't play like this. Dead roll. In here. Roll. Still looking for um. Uh oh, something's moving around up here. What do we have? A key, a javelin. Oh, chain armor. Um, is that what I already have? Seven and four. It's already what I have, but I can sell it. Alas, the custom hall is not entirely abandoned. You see another feral creature creation in the hall to the north. A long, glistening airless is slithering around, leaving a trail of slime as it attempts to detect prey. The bones of several victims litter the floor around it. Aerials are dangerous. Are dangerous. April? If you keep your distance, you might be able to slip around it. Some encounters can be evaded with stealth. Bows only notice you if you get close enough. 
a question mark warning will appear when you are close to being noticed, raise your stealth skill to reduce the distance where they can detect you. But he just we just ran right into it. Okay. So Which one am I using? Okay, I just um Let's do a firebolt on it. Okay. We have, we're using our dagger or our baton. You got me that time. Poisoned. Okay. I'm poisoned. Yep, I'm poisoned. I'm taking health. I'm taking damage! Alright, I have a cure speed. There we go. That will cure me. And then I have... That didn't heal me up very much, did it? You are still frail. You are still full. Okay. Well, how about the band-aid then? Or can I heal myself? Can I heal myself? There we go. I did. Okay. Oops, did I just, did I just, I passed up some food. I just saw something there. Is that food? No, it's a broken pot. Damn it. Okay, I need a living tool. Come on. This was the quarters for the captain of the guard. Nobody is here at the moment. You notice a crystal on the table to the north. These crystals are a useful magical weapon. When thrown at a foe, they turn into powerful bolts of energy. Crystals are not usually made by shapers. They are mere rocks charged with magic and thus beneath your kind. They are useful nonetheless. Use a crystal in your pack. Press the use ability key on the main screen, then select an enemy. Okay. So we got a crystal. Icy crystal. Okay. Um, laboratory lamp. Import ink pot. Um, sheet of paper. Does this have... I know we're going to need this stuff. Doesn't have any... The sandals don't have any... Um, hmm. So... So I see crystals. So I click on here and I see crystal. There we go. Oh, I got a chest here. Open box. The box is locked and you don't have enough living tools. I need six? No! This is why you have to come back to these places. Okay. We got an abacus, a beaker, ink pot, feather. Um, visions of Dry Peak were expected to sign. Oh, visitors of Dry Peak were expected to sign this book. You don't see anything unexpected. Merchants came up here a few times a year. The most recent caravan came through about three months ago. So why is this place... I keep hitting my mic, I'm sorry. So why is this place empty? Hmm? Okay. Oh, there's the switch. One of your keys made the change. You pull the lever. Well, you you know, you could at least said thank you. I need to go down here, down. I need to come down here and heal before we go somewhere new. 
not heal, but get up my essence. Because you know we're going on to somewhere new. I need some living keys! Alright. Yeah, this is why you have to make notes. You do have to make notes on this game. So you know where to come back to to check out stuff. Finally, oh, and I got an achievement. Uh, Shantae's pupil collapse. Whatever. Finally, you have reached the front gates of Dry Peak. You are very relieved by what you hear. Ahead, floating to you on the wind, you hear the shouts of merchants, the sounds of boots clicking against cobblestone roads, the grunts of the servals working in the fields. Dry Peak is still a functioning settlement. However, their gate is to the outside world is abandoned and overrun with rogues. Why? Hopefully, you and Shantae will be able to solve some of this mystery. Once Shantae enters Dry Peak, the tutorial section of Gen Forge 2 is concluded. Head north to resume your training. Try to locate Zachary and Brasilia and find out what happened to this settlement. So this was all tutorial, which makes sense. So it doesn't matter that I can't come back here, I suppose, huh? Shantae strides up to you quickly. She is in the mood for a good rant. Rogues everywhere. The customs gate locked. The main gate unguarded. Nobody here to greet us. This is a disgrace. You got the gate unlocked. I feel you could have been faster. What? Uh, well, you gave me a job. I did it. Agent Shantae nods. I will grant that this is true. Um, thank you. However, our... Mastery of this world will not be continued by the sloppy and, and inefficient. We will discuss the finer points of your performance later, at length. For now, there is an immediate lesson I must give you. Really? I did everything I was supposed to. I had all those rooms I had to search, blah, blah, blah. People had to fight, whatever. Apprentice always remember this. We shapers are respected and feared. Why? Because we have great power and keep it secret from outsiders. No, I'm sorry. Why? Because we have great power and keep it secret from outsiders? Perhaps. Because we kill anyone who steals and misuses our powers? In part. We shapers are respected most of all because we look to outsiders flawless, perfect. We may argue internally, but to the outside world we never look weak. Zachary and Brasilia have failed in this. This settlement makes us look like fools. Now you and I will find them and we will find out why this disaster has been allowed to happen. We have much to do and I have much to teach you. Come. She turns on her heel and strides toward the settlement of Dry Peak. Really? You ungrateful? Before you finish the tutorial, you should know about the journal and the quiz and the guest quest list. If you want to review your notes or, or be reminded of your current quest, press the journal button. You will be able to see what special items you have found, dialogue you have recorded while talking, and what quests you have been given. And remember, if you, if you forget what the buttons do, you can get a reminder by hovering the cursor over them. Oop. I'm clicking on the journal on the J key. Come on. Journal. Journal. Special items. I do have a. Yeah, I didn't make any codexes. Secrets of essence, notes of combat. Mm, okay. I'm checking this area out first before we go anywhere. Because you never know what you're going to find. What the hell? What the hell? These are spiders. The um, scuttlebugs. I imagine they don't. Oh. 
They're not enemies. Well, they're not enemies. At the far end of this neglected trash pit, you find another sign of shaper neglect. A nest of scuttlebugs has established itself here. Like look, like servlings, scuttlebugs are a shaper mistake. A venomous crop-eating pest that escaped from your labs and spread and spread. Harmless to you, they are terrors to farmers. They are easy to crush and almost impossible to eradicate. Shapers came to these mountains to shape a new ecology and settle them. This is another sign that the experiment is going very badly. Okay. Nothing I can do here? Anything I can pick up? I have a pod. These are all larvae, dried husks, trash. I'm sorry. I was hoping I'd have some something I could pick up more than that. Okay. Oh, we got some doors here. All right. We got a chest. Oh, we got a living tool. Um, so I've got three of them. Is that enough to get in that one? That looks like it's sealed. Nope. Oh, we got a set. I'm out of. I'm out of. Um. These are all to sell. Uh, one and one. I don't need the snakes. I can sell them, I think. Um. Dagger. Wait. Another door. Hmm, the door is locked. You could use a living tool. Living tools required three. Which one do we want to open? There are so many of them here that we can get into. There's this one here. Oh, well, this is the closest one. Let's do it. Pick the lock. You unlock and open the door. I hope it was worth it. Oh, gauntlets. This is bigger than, these are better than what I have. Um, one in three, this is, well, let's do that. Oops. Okay. And money. Bag of meal. These all go in this quest, I know they do. Down the road. Okay. You're about ready to leave the region. Yes, we are. And this is our next one. Find way to Dry Peak. Locate Zachary. Travel. At last, one of the residents of Dry Peak has come to greet you. He is a common warrior wearing a captain's insignia. He has, a dark, he has dark circles under his eyes, and his armor is old, worn, and dusty. He is not happy to see you. Welcome, travelers, he begins. I am Captain Takin. Takina? I am sorry for our tardy greeting. We must be cautious. Lately, we have had troubles. Can I ask you to identify yourselves? Now look at the agent. 
If you take a step back, confident your trainer will have something to say. You aren't disappointed. Captain Takina looks at Agent Shante. You command, yes, may I see your credentials? See what Ca Agent Shante that says. Captain Takina's words only infuriate Shante further. She says in an icy voice, Dry Peak receives an envoy from the Shapers and only a mere captain is sent to greet us? This is an insult. Take me to Zachary immediately. I will only speak my business with him. Takina looks nervous, like he doesn't want to take you anywhere. I am sorry, honored Shaper. I see you have traveled far. However, I have orders from my own Shaper. I can't let you proceed without evidence that you have business here. Shante is quiet. She seems to be sizing up the situation or getting her rage under control. One of the two. Our orders are to be delivered. Yep, let's talk. Shante and Takani turned to you, surprised. They both forgot that you were there. Normally, the command of an apprentice carries very little weight. However, your words strike home. Takana looks doubtful. Shante presses the advantage. Our orders must be given to Zachary directly, and it will not go well for anyone if our time is wasted further. Takana says, All right, I will take you to Zachary. In the research porn, any treachery will be met with blades. He turns and walks off to the north. Shante turns to you. I see you are not a fool. Good. You can follow us right now to greet Zachary, or you can take some time to look around this town first and see what you can learn. This option was open to you because you had some leadership skill. The more you get, the better your conversations will go. Okay. Well. So I impressed her, did I? Ha ha ha. Oh, I was thinking we were less than an hour, but we're over an hour. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. And when we come back, um, what is the name of this place? Dry Peak. We're in Dry Peak. So when we come back, then I will go ahead and start checking out this town, see what's going on, talk to people, probably pick up some quests. And this is fun so far, but I know it's going to get harder. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.